How to sell ebooks on Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can sell ebooks on Shopify. So selling ebooks or any type of digital product can seem a bit difficult when you look at Shopify's defaults because by default, if you take a look at the product categorizations, Shopify is usually oriented towards point of sale as well as a physical product. So if you want to add a digital product, you can see that you have the option to do that. And they also have a digital product or a service guide provided by Shopify. But I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do everything for a digital product. So firstly, you're going to go into your Shopify store dashboard and then click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings on the bottom left, you're going to click on apps and sales channels, then open up the Shopify app store. Once you open up the Shopify app store, you are just going to search for digital product. And once you search for a digital product, you're going to find a couple of different applications. Now, a lot of these are compatible and built specifically for Shopify. You guys can see you have digital downloads by FileMonk, Big Digital Download Products, SkyPilot, LDT, LDT Online Courses, and Digital Downloads. This is up to your personal preference on what application you want to use. For this tutorial, if we take a look at the big digital download, you can see you have 500 MB of storage and 15 orders. Then you have three products, unlimited license keys as well. However, this is something I find to be a bit limiting. So I have used digital downloads, which is a application provided by Shopify. This is super easy to use and it is completely free. There are no plans, no paid versions. And it just allows you to add as many digital products as you want. And no matter how many orders you have, you never have to pay. Then in comparison, if we take a look at digital downloads by FileMox, again, you can sell any type of files with unlimited downloads, automatic email delivery, add to your brand 250 MBs and 30 orders per month. This is Pretty decent when you're launching but obviously you're gonna have to upgrade i definitely would say that the digital downloads provided by shopify are far less feature oriented they're very blank if i must say they don't have a lot of features but they do serve the purpose well however if you're looking for something that has more captivating features with better product management as well as promotional content that you can build around your digital books then the other applications do the other jobs better. So you do have to keep that in mind. Again, LDT Digital Downloads has a 30 order per month limit on their free plan. So I'm going to be using the Shopify application and I'm just going to click on install over here. And once I click on install, a new tab is going to open up. You're just going to click on install once more to complete the installation of this. So once you click on install once more, you're going to find it on the apps over here. Simply pin this to your navigation and you're just going to proceed with your product. So for this, we're going to go ahead and go back into product on the top left and we're going to add our digital product as a regular product first. So click on add product and let's name this product our self help ebook, self help ebook and then just like you normally would add your description like this and then i'll just click on generate over here i'm just using the ai generator this is a great ai generator by the way if you provide it with more details it can provide you with some amazing copywriting for your particular product whether it's a digital product or a physical product once you've done that you are just going to upload a file that is going to be a media file that is going to represent your book and i'm just using this random image you definitely should be using your ebooks image then i'm not going to track the quantity nor is this a uh this a physical product and i'm just going to click on save on the top right and once we have completed all of this basic information about our product so your product title description media and by media files i don't mean 
the PDF version of your book. You're not going to add that over here. Over here, usually you want to add things like your table of contents, your front pages, maybe a preface of your story, maybe just the outlying starting points of your story, the chapters that are included, the cover image, something along those line, lines. Other than that, there is no other media you're supposed to add. Once you have completed this, you are going to go again into digital downloads on the bottom left. Once you go into digital downloads, you're going to select this particular product and click on add files. Once you click on add files over here, over here, you're going to select your PDF file or Word file, whatever it is. So I'll just, you know, take this over here. This is just a presentation and I'm just uploading this file over here. Once we have uploaded this particular file, which is our ebook file, and if you don't know how to design your ebook, you can easily do that on Canva. I'll show you guys that as well. So if you go on to Canva over here and you search for ebook like so, you will see you have some amazing templates for ebooks. And you can go on ahead, search for the type of book that you are creating, and you will easily find something similar to what you are creating. And you can use that and just get an idea of how to design the rest of your book. So you guys can see there are some amazing templates and you can honestly just replace the content to yours and your ebook would be ready. Now, once you have uploaded that file, you're going to click on fulfillment on the top right and you're going to choose how you want to do the fulfillment. If you want to do this manually or if you want to automatically send the files, then you can also set a download limit. So how many times can someone download this? I want it to be unlimited downloads or let's say a maximum of 10 downloads can be done and I want to automatically send the files to a person that purchases this product. Now, once you have completed that, you are just going to well, click on save on the top right. I forgot to click on save. I'll just add the same image again and I'll click on view fulfillment. Yeah, so I'm going to set 10, click on apply, click on save on the top right. And just like that, your digital product is now created. So if I click on view in admin over here, you will see uh, you have your total product set up and that is all you have to do. So if I open up my online store or if I go into my product over here and view my product like this, you can see I can click on add to cart, click on checkout, and I can check out the item as I normally would. And just like that, you can sell your own ebooks on Shopify. I definitely would recommend that whenever you are looking to create ebooks or any type of digital product, you should opt for a free plan on any free tool before you move towards the more paid or premium features. A lot of these amazing applications are great, but they do cost a lot in the long run. So you do want to just test the waters a bit with Shopify subscriptions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're now able to sell your ebooks on Shopify. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.